Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your January 22nd through January 28th weekly reading. Now generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. I'm so used to flipping them. Anyhow, this is the Ask Angels deck and what I need you to do is ask a question and at the end this the answer will be revealed, okay? So this is typically a yes or no answer or uh, advice to get you the answer or it could even be a timeline, okay? So just ask a question and we will see what comes up at the end. We're also going to get an oracle card. Well, this is a this is a psychic, uh, psychic something. I don't know. Hold on, I'll tell you what it is. The psychic tarot, but it does have chakra cards, so it's a little bit extra. Okay. Well, I'm having a really hard time with you guys' this deck. That one was falling apart too. What do you have for Leo? I think that one is it. Oh, moving on. Moving on. This is the Six of Swords, okay? So it's time of transition, all right? It's a time of transition. It's a time of change, of moving on to a better spot in your life. You could be moving physically. But it is absolutely time to move on. It's time to bring the peace back and the harmony to you, to your life, to whatever's going on. It's time. The time is now to move on from something. Okay? Now we are going to get, we are going to use the wild unknown today for your reading. I have pre-shuffled this deck just a little bit. This is for the sign of Leo. What do you have? Oh, okay, let's see. These are a little bent, but we'll be fine. Um, you may be dealing with somebody who is very controlling, manipulative in your life. Could be somebody who feels like they're an authority. Um, and they could be really, really um, trying to control the situation. Because both of these are kind of controlling energies. Okay, and there's like a lack of wisdom here. It's totally about control, and it's not because of their wisdom. Okay, somebody is being very dominating and probably trying to um, overpower you. I mean, that's the emperor reversed. Okay, right next to the father of pentacles, that's the king of pentacles. So that tells me that, you know, it's really time for you to be practical. Okay, this is also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this is an Aries, all right? So it is time for you to be practical and be responsible and do the right thing. Okay, this is somebody who is also very controlling, but um, also very loyal, all right? This is about loyalty. It's also about mature, uh, being mature, being stable, being secure, uh, and steadfast okay so this could be somebody that is coming into your life or you are being called to act like this okay but there is a lack of emotional support here a lack of love in some arena with this ace of cups reversed this is the it's like there's a beginning that's not starting or it's not uh, growing okay there's some lack of love here next to the three of pentacles reversed it's like there's no togetherness there's no compromise there's no communication so i feel like there is a lack of communication with somebody and you may be feeling unloved and this could be uh they could be doing this to manipulate you there's there could be some split okay there could be some split this is the lovers reverse there could be some breakup on the horizon and, you know, I'm just telling you what I see. 
there's something going on behind the scenes okay this is the moon when the moon card comes out it says that there's something going on you know that there is and you know that there is it's like some you know that something is not as it seems your intuition is trying to tell you something the moon is about your intuition as well it's like you have this fear and I think you have this fear, perhaps, it could be even of a third party situation, you know, you have this fear that you're not really loved, perhaps, I don't know, but you know, all you want is happiness, all you want is, sh is to shine, and it feels like, despite all of this, you're doing everything in your power to be happy, but there's some kind of love that is being rejected. All right. This is a choice in love and it's not being accepted or it's a breakup with the lover's card reverse. It's like there's been there's been too much um too many power struggles, okay? But the thing is there's codependency here. There's codependency here and somebody is afraid to be on their own because this is the 9 of pen nine of pentacles. Somebody is afraid to take care of themselves. Now we have two nines right next to each other. It's time to close a door so that a new door can open. Okay, because nines are about closure. I feel like you are so close that you've come a long way. And right now, you just, uh, you just have to remember how far you've come. And do not go backwards. Continue to rise up. Whoever you're dealing with that is making you feel like you're living a lie of some sort. You know, like this is an illusion. You know, you need to remember who you are, okay? This nine of, of uh, wands tells me that you're on the edge. You're on the edge. And now you are doubting this. You're doubting something because there's something going on behind the scenes and you know it. And you're not quite sure what it is, but you know what it is. Do you know what I mean? You know there's something going on, but you're not trusting your inner guide. That's what this card says. Okay, I mean, I can't, whatever, it is what it is, right? You know, somebody is afraid of being single, they're not grateful, they don't feel like they can take care of themselves. There is a feeling of codependency here, I need somebody to take care of me, it, that's what it is, okay? And I, you know, the thing is, is we have the six of cups now, and these cards are bent, I'm going to have to start unbending them. Because I haven't used them in a while. Um, you're clinging to the past. Somebody that is watching this is clinging to the past. When they know that the cycle is ended. That there's no more love. Or there's no more emotional support. But they're still clinging on to it. And I think that you were involved with somebody. Where there was a third party situation. And this love made you happy at one point. It really, really made you happy. But you can't let go. And you're not happy being on your own. You know, but there's been some kind of split that maybe it was with somebody that you were connected to soulfully. But there were too many power struggles in the relationship. And now you have to be practical. You have to make the right choice. Or you will live with the consequences of your choice. And I think that right now you're really seeking stability and security. Because you deserve more. You do deserve more. You know, it's like you're, you're not able to offer love to anybody else. Or, or you're not receiving love because of the struggles that are going on. It's like there's a lot of ungratefulness here. Whether somebody was ungrateful for you or you're ungrateful for all that you have learned throughout your life. I see a lot of life experience here that is being um, forgotten. Okay? you Seriously, with these two cards, it's like you should be grateful for, for everything that has happened in your life. It's brought you to where you are today. The lessons that you have learned. Okay, you should be happy about that. You need to look at and start stop clinging to the past. You need to realize that cycles end and cycles begin. I mean, the moon is about cycles. I mean, that's that's just the way life is. But anyway, I'm going to zoom this in for you. It's time to move on, remember? Remember what that card was? I'm going to put it right here. It's time to move on. 
That's the Six of Swords. It's time to move away from this situation where there's really like not much reciprocation. With that Four of Cups reversed, it's like... Mm. Here we have the Page of Swords. It's time to be honest. It's, ti it's time to pay up. Be honest. Instead of being vindictive, okay, you could be dealing with somebody who's vindictive. You could be dealing with someone who's shallow. You could be dealing with somebody who is trying to cause trouble for you. Okay, there could be somebody in your life that is trying to cause trouble. Okay, and it's time for you to move on. Um, because it's time to be content, all right? It's also time to let go, okay? You don't need to hold things in. You don't need to resist this change, and that is exactly, this is resistance, okay? You are resisting. You're holding on. You're holding on, clinging to the past. This is the Six of Cups reversed. You're clinging to something that isn't working out. It's, I think you're dealing with somebody who is very challenging. There's a lot of intense energy, mentally restless. And this person may be very intelligent, but they're bringing conflicts into your life. And it's not wish fulfillment. We have the Nine of Cups reversed. It's not working out. You could be also be dealing with somebody who has a very big ego. And the fact of the matter is, is that it's not leading you to your ultimate wish fulfillment. It's not. Okay, so you have to stop clinging to the past. This is the outcome. The Six of Cups reversed. This is you must stop resisting and let go of the past. Let go of something from your past that is making you mentally restless. You're holding on to it for no reason. You're not loving yourself. It's like, I don't have any compassion for myself, so it really doesn't matter anyway. You know what I mean? If you really love yourself, this Empress card would be upright. If you really, really were able to put yourself first, it would be upright. Whoever you're dealing with is not bringing out the best in you. It's time. If this is the Eight of Wands. It's time to move on. and it's You should move rather quickly. This is swift action. It's time to communicate. Communicate your feelings. Regarding your fears. Regarding what's going on. Ask. If you think something is going on behind the scenes, ask. Talk about it. Communicate. You can't keep pretending forever. You can't just keep ignoring. That's what's going on here. Somebody is ignoring the truth. T procrastinating. Waiting for the right time. Waiting for something else to happen. It's time for you to do what is right for you. And let something end that needs to end. Think of it as a liberating time. I took action in regards to what I need in my life. I love myself. With that Empress card reversed, somebody is not loving themselves enough. You may be feeling like a victim. And it's, you need to think of it from a new perspective. It's like you have lost your passion. You've lost your drive. You've lost your energy. It's like I am so mentally restless that I can't even move. It is time to take action. Stop thinking about it. Do it. Unless you want to live in regrets for the rest of your life. Okay? It's, it's really, really time for you to come out of the darkness. 
And for many of you, you may be already starting this process of coming out of the darkness, of seeing the light. It's time to see the light. It's time to bring security back to your life and stability. A lot of reversals here because you're not making changes that you need to make. It's the absence of, okay? You need to make changes. You need to go down a new road, but you're not. You've reached a dead end. You're in some pure dead end, okay, where you're going nowhere because you're, hold, you're clinging to the past. You're clinging to something that doesn't serve you, and you are absolutely being called to move on. With these twos, they're about faith and trust. You have to have faith and trust, and you don't. And I think one of the reasons you don't is because there's manipulation here. And lack of love for yourself. Lack of love for yourself. Lack of love for yourself. Okay? It's time to stand up for yourself. It is. Stand up for yourself. So, Leo, do I feel like new love is coming in? No. I feel like it's time for you to accept the truth of a situation. Speak up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. And start loving yourself again. And move on from this situation that you are in that is causing power struggles. And dissatisfaction. You're clinging to something that doesn't serve you. And I feel like there's a cycle that needs to end, but you're ignoring it, of course. You are ignoring it. But I feel like some of you have been involved in a third-party situation, and you just don't want to accept the truth. So if you block it out, okay, if you block it out, then, you know, it might go away. That's not going to happen, okay? You can't block it out forever. It's time to move on. We're going to get some romance, I think. Maybe not. We're going to find out. This is the Angel Romance deck. We're going to see if we can get something, anything. Ah! Perhaps you are involved with somebody who's not on the same spiritual path as you or the same level, you know, any level. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who is too different, okay? You guys have different viewpoints. Whatever the case is, you're dealing with somebody who is completely different than you. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yes, it is. Your views differ. And that's where the power struggles lie. Let's get to your question, Leo. Are you ready? Do you have it? Oh my God, I think we got two. Oh, look at that. Oh, did you get lucky. Son of a gun. Right, but look at that. You get two. Hopefully they coincide. All right. So if you have two questions, let's go for that. Okay, question number one. That's, let me, I'll give you a minute to think of two questions. You got two questions? Two questions. Two questions. For you, Leo. Question number one. Helpful people. Ask for help from others. Ask for help from your angels. Okay? Ask for help. This is what that card tells me in regards to question number one. Somebody can help you. Question number two.
Ooh, get more information. Interesting. So Leo, this is what I have for you. I wish you the best. Talk to you next week.